from your homes. I love it. Let's get into it. IEM New York 2020 Semi 2. OG need an opponent. And we're straight into the action. You can take a quick look on the left-hand side of your screens. Full Kevlar investment, not a single penny spent on anything else. And Zywoo's Kevlar's actually kept him alive. That could have been the end of him. They choose to re-peek into Kiyabi, and he goes one for one. He'll take that. RPK wants to deny the plant, but Rain does not ref go down without a fight. Nico finding a crucial frag. Now they have some space. Rain wants to confirm CTs and options. Zywoo's messed up the jump. They'll opt for the split instead. Okay, there's, there's, there is a lot more to be said. Obviously, the start of things was quick, and the start of this round's also incredibly quick. And I can't wait to see if if we get that brokey that we were loving seeing just a day ago. Exactly, and if Rain is having a good one, then that's fun, but there's always a Zywu against them. Four kills. This would be a goddamn ace. He can't win the round. But if he's coming hot, if he's getting confidence building early, <laughs> if the server conditions are looking very, very Look amicable. He's actually hunting. He goes down with a bomb. How are the server conditions, Rush? Absolutely beautiful. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. It's a beautiful day here in uh, Morocco, I think Mirage is. I don't know. Have you ever been to Morocco? Rush, I have Rush not. Getting old. Come up with something new. There it's we true. go. Even true. the producer's turning you up for the same <laughs> gag. Yeah, like he knows the conditions questions coming in. Yeah. I will not say new one day. I'll do some homework. All, all right. right. Yeah, come in prepared I'll, next I'll time, try. okay? Appreciate that. I so, like homework. An armored Glock for Cold Zera. <laughs> Love seeing there it is. Thank you. The Galil picked up. <clears throat> okay, AKs, smokes, looks like uh, A executes on the card. Chad, we yeah. haven't seen a second round conversion from the team that won the pistol in a full Mirage map. Let's see if uh, FaZe can do what previously eluded Fnatic. I love how Zaiwu has an M4 on the second round of play. Four kills is all it takes. Like, isn't it just absurd? And staying alive, don't have to reinvest in the Kevlar. This is just a wild one here. I don't know if FaZe is going to be ready for this. <laughs> if he gets another quad kill, another multi-kill, I'll scream. <laughs> Like a loud, high-pitched one, or...? Uh-oh. Well, fortunately, will remain to be seen. RPK is very loud about this. Reloading, stepping, etc. Cold will hear it. He's pushing ramp. Brokey with the bomb alone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Brokey saves the day for FaZe Clan. That would have got very awkward very fast had the bomb been loose and a rifle passed to RPK and ramp. Now the round starts to peter out. It will be Shocks and Apex to try and contest. Deagle's poised. Denying info and space are the T's. They're not in a rush to get this bomb down. A lot of people sometimes feel a bit awkward about these exchanges when you see so much progress and yet no bomb plant. Now with the smoke down, Brokey can get it safely. Oh. No, he can't. Apex Ooh. catching him just through the side of the box. The smoke, no safety net. Time Bombs. becoming a problem. And that oh. is how you relieve some pressure. There was an M4 on Zywoo's corpse, but not to be found. And now it is just the formality. Oh, okay. We've got a forecaster. Rain, Rush has been lying to us. The clouds are coming in and it's looking good for FaZe. If Rain, I want to see Rain have a really good day. He is the safe pair of hands for FaZe. So sometimes you don't always need him to do that. That's not necessarily sure. his role. But if we have Rain finding those key kills, I am so excited because he's such a good player for that. We just don't see it that often. Something else to keep a track of as well is Masut has been having his fair share of woes when it comes to high pressure games for Vitality. And that's not to say he doesn't keep up, because he has definitely been growing into the role as a rookie, learning the intricacies of Tier 1 Counter-Strike. But if a semi-final starts slipping by the wayside, if Masuta doesn't show up in a capacity that's necessary and required of him, that's a storyline we'll continue to build. So with just these pistols here, we aren't expecting too much from Vitality going on forward. But Brokey is a win condition. When Brokey and Nico are playing well, those two able to light up the server. There's obviously room for other players on phase to find a lot of damage, but I think it's those two who are the win conditions in the games that they've picked up to get this far within the tournament. Now, Vitality, they've been the bridesmaid several times this year. Three big tournaments they weren't able to pick on up. And that uh, will be heard. But uh, we're going to run through those. That was the Blast Premier Spring Final. They lost that one to Complexity, coming in as the favorite there. CS Summit 6, they came second at that event just before the player break. And then second at ESL 1 Cologne. They lost to Heroic not that long ago. So Vitality would be wanting a trophy as well. Another Grand Final will look good on the resume, but uh, eventually they're going to need to convert one of these. And actually be able to say that they were the best team in the tournament. I like to see that though. Even on these rounds where it's against P250s and what have you, so Shocks will probably try and 
scurry away with that AK, but seeing Brokey get a couple of those kills, just feeling smooth in the in the server early on, it's what you want to see for some of these young players, especially get that confidence building early on, get the mood in the right place. And again, if Brokey, you know, I think Yanko is kind of alluding to it, you know, he's he's got not necessarily a lot of freedom, but he can he can play how he feels that if he's feeling like he can go for something, you, you let him off that leash, you let him make that play. Yeah, and I think not get, keeping the reins too tight on a player like Brokey is, is, is only going to help with his development and accelerate it. If he's given the space to take initiative and that initiative pays off, A, gains the respect of his very experienced peers, and B, also gets the opportunity to demonstrate his worth to the FaZe Clan name, which has recently, of course, been a little bit besmirched by the recent results. Now okay. we get the M4s, the full buy, if you will. Zai was already had an M4 in his hands, believe it or not. So now he'll opt for the AWP. The he kind of likes to keep it mixed up, keep it spicy. <clears throat> and from spice, we'll see if Vitality can find there first. That would be nice. For leaning A, Nico top middle, wanting to fight and try and draw some utility out of Apex and Co. <clears throat> Gonna be the ASAP piece here. They flashed off towards the ramp. The nades are ready to come on over now, and away they go. Zaiwu unable to hit the first. He's under pressure. Yeah, RPK is gonna have to be the difference maker. Zaiwu's gonna get smoked and naded and flashed, and well, there goes RPK. Now Apex steps up to the plate, caught in the smoke. He's dead. Phases D side looking fierce here. Great reaction shot from Shocks. Maybe they can save all three. Wow. Okay. Quick one from Phase. And and away they go. So work for Fnatic. Keep it simple. Yeah, and look, I think you know a lot of the strengths of Phase come down to getting the space to hit the shots. We always talk about this team as a bit of the rock stars. They have just jam packed of superstars and individuals who once upon a time were some of the best Counter Strike players in the world. In recent times, that's not been the case. At least functioning as a team. Cold Zero and Nico. Well, if you don't know their names, then you probably haven't been watching for very long. Have been famed throughout their careers. Cold Zero. Back-to-back -back major winner with the SK slash Luminosity banner. Even an MB MVP in those. Uh, whereas Nico, just in terms of his mechanical ability and how good he has been consistently over the years, placing within HLTV, the dog's top 20. I mean, Cold Zero's got his goddamn work painted on the walls of this map. Yeah, look. Like, uh, a literal good. living legend. You know, the same can be said for Vitality. We just haven't seen that come through, especially with the classics on that roster. And uh, where have you put Zaiwu somewhere? Maybe in the middle, obviously, Masuta, far newer. Zaiwu, uh, a newer generation, but nowhere near to that same uh, green amount as Masuta would be. And then you get the classics of Apex, RPK, and Shocks. But for now, it's FaZe operating at a nice quick oh. level, but a big, chunky nade thrown towards Rain and Nico. Good damage. So they don't really want to contest for mid by brawling. They're more than happy to allow Connector and Window be limped on into and that's where they might strike Vitality. Lots of pressure on Zaiwu soloing the B side of things. But they've gone more for a four-man A lane. Shock's dealing with Window. He'll be the first rotation point. Apex towards Connector and RPK tucked on in with the youngster under the balcony. Molotov's good. Forces rain back. Even more damage done Whoa. as this smoke clears. Shocks is in trouble. Oh! Oof. That's it. Deep incendiary to hopefully buy room. The sound cue is going to force him forward. Kirby spots him trying to find the shot, swapping to the AK. Could get hunted here. The Molly's locked him in. He wants to contest this. They are opting for the boost. I can't help but feel this is Apex's frag every day of the week, unless Nico waits. Forty seconds, a five v four phase. Are heading towards the stack under Balk, and there's Nico caught. The rest likely connector. Apex communicates. RPK readies himself, unloading the mag, not finding a oh, frag, but they turn. Nice frag. Apex gone. Now things getting a little easier as they trade into the site. That fight is so favorable to uh -oh. players in jungle, but would they expect another? Masuta's no there. No way are they checking. Brokey, just as he thought he punched in the digits well enough. Cold Zero wants to trade, and he does. There was a bit of timing to that one, but it does favor FaZe in the end. Yeah. The frag from Rain really saved them there. You know, you, you, you could, I could hear it in your voice when you saw them both turn to the oh, balcony like and it. you saw Apex pushing, but they were aware of the two different threats at the same time. Good shots from Rain continues where he left off in the pistol. Made that P250 work. And now same with the AK. Five to zero. Vitality yet to get off the starting mark. This is a T-side start on FaZe's map pick. So already seeing pretty solid case to be made for FaZe Clan to take theirs. 
very early doors, though. Ooh, do we have a proactive Zaiwu? You might need one. Got another good nade, but here he comes. This is the Zai you want to be seeing for all the French fans. Already Rain and Brokey going to fall to that. And this is going to be a different looking phase. They've had their way early game for the last couple of rounds. Now, mm. they've got a little bit of a hill to climb. Yeah, but if they were to group up B on this smoke and walk up that short position, there would have been a real valid... Hang on, with the smoke down, they could do it. That is enough for Apex to get a little nervy. Nico's actually looking to push towards it, and he confirms RPK's location. He's going to be ahead of this smoke. Oh. You want any info, Tanky Boy? You want any? Didn't seem to be the case. Kirby's up in apps as well. If Cold finds Apex, he should. Oh, he gets the frag necessary. Suddenly a 3v3. Everyone starts to move. The oh, I love previous this. game of statues is now start quite the opposite. Nico's going to try and cut off the rotate. Shock through T-Spawn. This is a mid-round and a half, Lauren. It really is, but does, does RPK sense that? It doesn't seem to matter. Nico's now sliced them in half. It's awkward for the two remain. Now, 30 seconds. FaZe need to decide where do we go. Now, Shock's pushed into ramp. So this cross becomes everything. They've taken the bomb towards A. Masuta is way off towards B. So Shox needs to somehow hinder three players from getting that bomb into position. However, it's Bang there. Open. He is. If he gets this go. frag, he will. There it Reveals is. his position. And with 15 seconds left, the plant is a priority, not the frag. Kirby working on it, opting for the default box. Nico hunting oh. him down, but now the teammate's nice. gone. It will have to be the clutch. Kiyobi trying to save what was supposed to be a guarantee. Spots one jungle. No shocks was around the ramp room. Not easy shots to hit here. That's Ooh. a clean one. Wow, Masuta loses his head. And now another oh. Kiyobi in the server tonight, ladies oh. and gentlemen. That is quite the sterling stuff. And look what it's done. Breaking the back of Vitality. They have to take a timeout, piece do. themselves back together again. Oh. What a shot. Masuta just gets his hair cut. Oh, -wee. that was a big round from Kirby to pull on off there. And the impact player, of course, he clutched a two on one situation when the chips were down. Fantastic work from the most recent edition of phase here. And ever since they've retooled, they've changed from CT side of positions. We've even gotten the nod from Alexi B that that was the right call for phase to make. Things have been looking, well, better. Better? Yeah, that's Inconsistent, that's but better. 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 It's better. I got some news, everybody. Okay. What's the news? Um, Good news, bad news. So, since uh, the RMR event in China earlier in the year, mm -hmm. uh, where Tyler and Vici played against each other, mm -hmm. Tyler went on to win 13 series straight against Vici in either best of threes or best of fives. 13 so, series in straight. In terms of the best team in China, we know is Tyler. Vici just beat Tyler for the first time in 13 series. So, Whoa. it only took 14 series in a row and Magic Vici number. eventually get across the line there. So That's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. It's, it's, 13 best of threes. It's similar down under at the moment. Renegades just winning everything. So, within the region so far, Tyler locked in China just constantly winning and the same thing can be said for Renegades in Australia right now in Oceania. They it's just a, continue to battle Chiefs, Order, etc. It's a conversation that's happening all, all across esports at this point in time with the global pandemic. Regional leagues have returned to a more um, demonstrated point. And we've seen, of course, the disintegration of the OPL, the oceanic side of League of Legends just being removed. And of course, the uh, the outcome of that simply just be because of the, the region not having the same, boasting the same in viewership and player base, priorities are changing. And it's hard when your practice partners just can't push you to Remain competitive on an international scale. Good nade. Bonk. They Not really quite. love the nade towards top mid, haven't they? That's been a consistent showing from Vitality here. And this is just the upgraded pistol. So while we talk a bit of nonsense, we aren't expecting too much. But with 40 seconds left on the clock, now this one does actually get dangerous. Yeah, we don't we don't like the clock looking like this. Late round is scary, even big, against pistols. Big spooker, because things can go wrong. Bombs can't be picked up. You don't get any step to the site. You're lost in middle and- Are they going B? What's smokes are up and oh, this is weird and nasty and no one likes this. There's a stack on short and this is the problem that we discuss. The threats can become bigger problems and suddenly USBs are there and oh, it's all fallen to pieces. Phase with a fumble that's gonna really ripple through their mentality, I'm sure. Yeah. I would not love to be on TeamSpeak or Discord with these boys right now because that's going to be an awkward silence of what the hell just happened. Yeah, that's a, phased. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> that's a round that should never happen. 
and never happened in that fashion because FaZe actually smoked themselves out of choke points there and slowed themselves down in that approach. So they were going through the motions, but you have to finish somewhere. And if you don't get greeted with kills when you're doing more of a default spread like this, some form of a decision has to be made. Now, Cold Zero lucky to go down before the time is completely expired, but look how many guns get carried across here. Vitality coming forward with some AK-47s. AWP back out for Zywu now. Things are looking good for Vitality to kick this off. It was a horrible start. It was, but if they can get that blue on brown in the feed again, things will start to get very dangerous. Smoking into the molly, not ideal. Kiabi loudly aggressing. Zywu deciding upon the sound cue that it's better. Oh, bad smoke. Ooh. Terrible. Kiabi may be expecting that vision to be obscured, and if he does, he may. Design with the opening. It's called Zara to open things up, though. What a shot. Okay, things are getting intense here. This is a crucial round for FaZe as well. If they want to return to control, that is a shot you have to hit. Cold. Solid work. They find out Apex is on the side of CT, and now the shots are going back Vitality's oh. way. Equalizers are found. Bomb spotted. Oh. Eco gone too. Great shooting. Apex finding the double. We got some spicy boys in the server yep. tonight, don't we? Blooming hell, the shots coming out from this lot. Didn't get to really talk about the fact that if Apex has a good game, he can be the win condition for Vitality, let alone Zywu in there and shocks. Brokey trying to be the difference maker, but that goblin box has a new goblin. Apex. There's no way they expect it. <laughs> I mean, with the bomb being dropped and he had that info for so long, obviously it is a possibility you may consider, but Brokey. Oh. Oh. oh, feels weird. Yep. And there we go, shut down. The aim is crisp today. So, oof, they did just get the AWP for Zywu. He can afford one, so it wouldn't have been the end of the world. And the buy and the money for Vitality off the back of that pistol upgrade round is looking flush. They just went all in on red. They won, and they've doubled their cash. So Vitality now have forced FaZe down to a timeout already, and things were looking great for FaZe. I think there's probably some questions being asked on what they can do with their buy right now because it's 2,400 is the lost bonus in the next round. So... If you are the phase players, you want to keep that cash around the 2K mark. Or if you can get the bomb down, you can spend a little bit more, but that's never guaranteed. Kirby has uh, 4,300 right now, so could opt for the AK. That was the opening from Cold. Follows up on the Zywu, but uh, Nico not winning that duel against Apex was one of the key reasons as to why Vitality were able to turn this round on its head. And that's going to be another round on the board. As a uh, bit of a smile there from Apex, the in-game leader on the side of things for Vitality. Two to six now. Phases map choice. Inferno coming up as number two. Back underway we go. Rifles are out, and on the T side, it will just be the Deagles from Phase, and well, two of those in play. One for Cold, one for Nico. Glock for Rain, Glock for Brokey. Kirby there on the P250. Flash towards top mid, space taken. And as we look into a round like this, we're not going to be expecting Phase to be able to pull off too much. You've heard us talk about the prowess with Cold Zero and Nico with these weapons in the past, but they need to have a foot in the door and so far, they don't have any territory in their favor. Very passive towards top mid. <laughs> Nico's literally in T-spawn. That smoke's down just going out towards the window position as his teammates come through the connector. But look at shocks. Ooh, hard shot to hit. Vertical axis, a problem. But Apex at the tip of his already just spins around. Beautiful aim on him. Playing very nicely today. Two kills, quite comfy. Shocks and Apex doing very well. Rush, did you like that round? Was that would you would you have enjoyed casting that? Um, it was an okay round. There was some things to get hyped about. I think you guys did a fantastic job, though. You get a ten out of ten from me. <sighs> See, Rush is always so nice. Right? Is I'm there a saying, point to that? Or? Nice. He doesn't. He doesn't throw any any mud. He doesn't sling any mud around here. No well, micro Not to you, mate. No. <laughs> All right, all about for Brokey. Let's see if he can come alive for only three kills to his name. Ooh, Apex is already going on mid. Alex, this is looking good for him. It really is. They take a lot of space as well. Apex pushed all the way up to mid, so... Oh, he's still going. Yep. Going back now as the flashes come towards RPK's domain. Kiabi fast, but going to be furious. RPK's caught him in the back, dropping his own smoke for survival now. Rain. Find shocks, getting a little inquisitive. There's now Cold Zero and Brokey. I think if you've been paying attention to how this game is, you'll know probably where Cold Zero is. As well, Vitality. And Brokey feeling a little bit strained here. Already considering the flank as Apex had pushed mid, you never know, but he hasn't gone that far. 
He's going to tuck himself in towards Doc and just kind of play around at the moment. Masuda's is taking a lot of space off here for the save as well from Phase. So pushing through the B apartments, it means they can't drop on back even if they wanted to try a little bit of silly business and come on through the B side of things to find some openings. But they will just be locked in towards T spawn. Masuda is just playing to contain and I love it. He is not pushing forward. He is not giving up his life. He's doing the right maneuver right here now. On towards that A side of things is the slightly sore RPK, 22 points of health with Apex. But right now, phase, 30 seconds left. Do they want to limp on into this? It looks like they're heading forward. Cold Zero to lead the charge of the AK. Oh, never mind. Are they thinking better of this? He's just run away with 20 seconds left for the flash. Mm, didn't That's really nothing. do much. Uh, uh, yeah. Wrap it up. All right, so let's talk about a key in that round because if Vitality can deal with Nico towards middle, we've spoken in the past regarding Nico and his default on a map like Mirage. He'll go towards top middle on rounds. They want to have set pieces towards the other side of the map just to condition and make it look like a standard default. So you'll see the smoke towards window or the smoke towards catwalk or sometimes both. Molotov towards the connector position, some flashes, some nades, all the goodies, some spam of that AK-47 just to make them think it will be a standard round of play. And then kablamo, the execute comes in. But if Nico can get conditioned and forced out of position, they might have a rough time phase setting up some of these T rounds. Lucky for them, they already have six <laughs> and Rain has an entry. That's so nuts. He was still moving when he hit that shot and now he's grabbed the AK. There's a world where Rain could find another here. He tucks in for anti-flash, but unfortunately caught with a nade in his hands. And Apex just makes sure this round does not go awry. He's on for the third here. Nico with the Deagle just finding another constellation, but good plan. Good plan, absolutely. Completely leveling the odds, though. It was six in a row, followed by five from Vitality. It was that moment, that switch, when suddenly they saved all those weapons, the CT economy no longer feeling gimped. They can build up a bank, and it's quite the opposite. Now, look at that. You can see these casualties have been minimal. 13 grand on Apex. He's still got the AK on board, so he's only going to have to choose his nades and armor of his choice. Peace. Bonk. Good stuff from Shocks here. Mopping up a couple of clean ones and uh, big round on the board there. Diffuse will come on through. Got a game on our hands here, folks. Yeah, we definitely do, as now it is this direct approach again. Nico selling over towards middle. Four set up for the A execute. This time, Nico's not being pushed. That smoke does really nothing, so uh, you would never even throw that on a default. So I'm curious to see if Vitality take the bait on that. I think retake A. Yeah, sides. Oh! <laughs> That's a bloody strike. And that's a kill. Apex finds Kiabi, but the site is still apparently locked out. Um, right now, that Molly's a little scary, but we'll see if they can get the boost going. While this happens, Cold Zero did find Zywoo, but the bomb hasn't gone down just yet. Still in the hands of Brokey, who's in Palace. So, pause for thought here. Flash comes out. They still... Do they have any smokes after this? No. So, once this goes, CT has a fight on wherever they want. Bomb can drop back, and it is. So they're going all the way back through Palace here. The AWP in the hands of Brokey still in play, and they're just going to leave Rain tucked in towards Shadow. So the rotation has been drawn, and Vitality can continue to keep this boost on up if they'd like, because Masuda currently has B under control. He's going to push forward and look for some info over towards the short position. But as we can see, FaZe, they are changing their mind, and that's their prerogative right now as they head on back through the B apartments. Might get hurt if they make too many footsteps here. As Masuda now, he looks like he's on high alert. You see his little icon on the radar swiveling around. Rain's still looking for Slank over towards eight. Molly slowed him. They can't go through it. They have to respect oh, it. Great nade chunks down Nico. He's now on half HP. Cold Zera falls. He was the healthier of the few. Ten seconds left, and oh, they Masuda. are being destroyed. Nico, he can think he gets a bomb plant, but here comes the executioner. As Shocks denies everything, it feels like the plan had some momentum to it, but that utility chunked them down, the molly slowed them, the rotation came in, and there was nothing Rain could do. The key there was Apex on that boost, but not only the boost, the fact that he threw the molly over towards that goblin box and cleared it out. They could see nobody was actually in towards the A site, so they had a decent idea that it may not actually be that A hit, and they were playing together, the three players, over towards A. All stuck in towards Ticket, able to play off of each other, able to trade off of each other, and the youngster, the rookie, Masuta with two huge frags. Fantastic utility usage, slowing this down and allowing teammates to get on over and deny that plant. FaZe will buy again. Brokey will not have a rifle, just a deagle, and more nade damage is done. If they could find a breaking point now, it's always starting in middle, but if they could just find a way in. Kirby through apps hasn't been particularly proactive. Perhaps a duel with Masuta, considering how much of an island he is on. 
See if that investigation bears fruit. Again, this time with a boost, it's very effective if anyone on short gets a bit antsy. Suter just dropping his incendiary and Kyobi safe from that. Oh, did he see him? Tip of Kyobi's head. Yeah, Masuta's positioning suggests he has spotted one and shocks rotating in as well implies the same. Oh, jumps and confirms it. Two on apps. Kyobi trying to drop the util, keep things guessing. Feels like a mid to be. But is that just it by design? Really feels like a mid to be, but suddenly RPK moves out of his hidey hole and cold can punish. It's worked wonders. There's only one man left on the site. They flash him off as well. Zaiwu. And shocks. Not much you can do about this one, I'm afraid, folks. You know what's so wild? They get the kills without even getting into the bomb site. Like the, the frags weren't to yeah. get the site, really, <laughs> were they? They were they were just while posturing. So RPK went down relatively aggressively over towards Palace. The kill from Kyobi went down towards B apps through the smoke, and Kyobi's gonna get another one here on the shock. So fantastic work from Kyobi it, here. It felt like Kyobi's posturing caused RPK to move because, he, you know, Shocks has rotated in here. He steps Molly. RPK just has a little, little look. Cold gets that kill. And in Cold's finding that frag, it was then back to Kirby to finish off what he started on B. Back and forth. But you're right, Chad. The fact that those frags are happening, you can look at the Xs. They were distributed all across the map anywhere but the sites. We'll get into round 14. FaZe Clan do break the back of the six round run from Vitality. And it's not quite going to break the money, though. Double orbs, all the trimmings, everything they could possibly desire. And that nade is why they like yeah. throwing it every single round. Doesn't deter rain, though, straight through the smoke. It is not a wall, though it does obscure your view. Bullets connecting onto the in-game leader of Vitality. And that's a storyline that some can easily let slip their mind. Apex taking in-game leadership responsibilities. How many years did we watch Shocks' as teams have a particular taste to them. And now, well, Shox can focus on his crosshair and it's certainly working wonders for him tonight. Got it nine frags, 13 top end for Apex, who's not really being too affected by the leadership woes that previously have been outlined. Phase mid takes scare me, Alex. I don't like They do them every round. I mean, it's just getting crazy. Here we go. There's a freebie. Miss Suta's in trouble though. We're trade. Now we're talking. It's just Hard like, to trade. I just get scared when I see the bomb kind of left around oh, and then the extremities aren't being kept yet, but I was Go on. Noise. Go on. He knows he's got to punish here. He's playing like a player who has a, an imminent kill. And there it is. Zaiwu down, B open range, charging with the bomb. Kirby trying to flank. Caught by shocks. Dropping the incendiary, stops the rotate. At least enough time to get through the window side, I think. No. Rain will go jump across. Shocks has opted for the door instead. Now with the bomb planted, shocks is hoping for the jiggle. Hoping for someone to confirm where the CTs are coming from. It, with Cold Zero's positioning, he's not even worried about short. Uh-oh. Oh, he takes the fight. One on one. Panic sets in. He doesn't want to get walked on by the AWP. He doesn't want the AWP just to walk onto his position. He wants to catch him with oh, a degree of surprise. Now Shock's jumping out of the window. Cold using the time. Shock's no kit. Doesn't have to take these fights. And there it is. Cold Zero with the impact. Eight for FaZe Clan, making this T-side finish almost as strong as the T-side start. That's broken the Vitality Bank as well. This is a fantastic T-half, admittedly swallowing the bitter pill of six in a row, but three consecutively to finish and Cold Zera to thank. And honestly, I was a little worried because I look at Brokey, he is not having the game. You're right. He was a win He's always been the win condition. He's always been the surprising to top performer from FaZe Clan. It seems perhaps his first half hasn't been his. Sure. Second half still obviously beckoning, so he can definitely One. still do some... Oh, Zywoo, the timing's weird. It feels weird and uncomfortable and no one's happy, but he's still... I just say, like, Molly's going to be right on him too. Yeah, Burning has to slip back into the smoke. Nico's playing the game, but Apex is keeping them safe. Yeah, I can't believe Zywoo's gotten away with that one. Forced his smoke out of his hands at least, and... Nico, what are you up to? It's a heavy Aileen. Someone's going to look. Oh, oh three of them flashes. do. Great flash, rain low as well. Looks like the seventh, despite the money sacrifice that they had to make into this buy. He's working out for them, holding the angle. Hamas connecting. Rain did connect as well onto Apex, but I'm afraid it may be a case of too little, too late. Unless Saiwu wants to have a look, does he? I haven't seen an 18 HP 1v3 ace clutch in a while. 
been a minute. Yeah. I think we might have to wait a little longer, though. Saiwu confirms Rain hasn't left middle. CT start to take space. Masuta's pushing apps. RPK's down to connect, and now Rain's trying to fake steps as if he doesn't know where he wants to go just yet. Admittedly, holding that mid info is the hardest of the three. He knows that that window fight's a favorable one for him, and now starting to Does advance he on the it. Needle? It's very possible. The problem is, is the sound cue of the bomb going down. Masuda will be there in a moment's time, and he has a Molotov as well to hold Rain at bay. So as the clock ticks on down, Masuda will be playing in limbo. Oh, and he's moved out of the wrong place. This is doable now for Rain. The HP is a problem. This has been heard. <laughs> but if he can isolate a kill here, if Masuda goes in too quick. From. Oh, let's see if Masuda keeps his cool now. Pressure starting to mount. Rain Ugh. has had a good half, but this is incredibly hard. If this is played diligently, it should be okay, but Rain gets to... Oh! I felt it. I felt it right there. He th I thought maybe he'd realize with that flash and more, he'd be right short. on that side. All the information present, but Masuta... The young man himself keeps his cool, gets the defuse, and gets vitality right to the door of phase. to eight on the half. It was a spectacular display from both squads in order to find consecutive rounds. It was a six in a row for Vitality, finding just that one final round of the half, but now they head over to the attack. Chad, 
what have you learned from that first half? Well, I've learned we're back from the break, but a phase back because uh, it's difficult to tell. It's difficult to put our Isn't finger on, on which version of the team that we're getting here. So, uh, signs are looking better overall for phase. But as they get underway on the CT side, the GG dot bet odds still do not favor the FaZe clan. Vitality coming into this is one of the hottest prospects in World Counter-Strike right now. Can they continue that form? As it will be a four-man B lane coming out from FaZe. Two towards short, two towards the B apps. Just soloing over towards A will be that of Rain. And look at this, quickly jumping, hopping, skipping as you like over towards the A side of things. And it feels like not too much sound has been made until Zywoo takes Nico out of the equation, upgrades to a USP, and he wants more. Yeah, he got four kills in the previous oh. pistol. Maybe he's going to try and do one better. Double this time. Kyobi cancels the plans and catching a glimpse of them as they've already got the bomb down. This feels all vitalities. Yeah, look at the HP. Choo-choo, Glock train. Rain low, Brokey lower. Kyobi has a kit, has a smoke. Maybe there's a miracle in play right now. I don't... I think so. I do like the angle Shox has got there to peak the slope. It's kind of nice. Yeah, it's not looking likely by any means, is it? Kirby now just held at bay by this. The rotations are cut off. The bomb now almost all the way ticked. Kirby will do his best to hold on to this kit and the smoke. He's being hunted. He's being chased. The Glocks, they want him. They're thirsty for this, and Shox will go down. Bomb will go off. Rain will die with it, <laughs> and uh, Kirby will actually be living right now. So okay. good for Kirby to carry through that diffuse kit and the smoke. It might play a factor in round 17, but let's take a look at what the rest of the buy looks like for FaZe going on forward. Head armor for Rain, Deagle, same for Nico. Brokey onto the scout, not buying any armor, uh, not buying any head armor even. Managed to uh, carry his armor across, and well, if you take a look right now for Brokey, he only has three kills. And if he was going to come alive, the CT side would be exactly where you'd do it. The AWP, very potent on the CT side to find picks. And if Vitality are loosey-goosey with their default or the smokes that they're playing towards window or connector with the Molotovs in, pl in play, uh, then Brokey might be able to find some impact. But let's take a look at this one here because it is Galil's, it is AK, it is a MAC-10 in play. Yeah. Smokes deployed middle. See what that leads to. Ooh, Cold getting info and forcing his smoke out. They might try and disrespect it. Zaiwu does find his crosshair placement in time. Kirby going to be lucky to avoid the uh, Molotov, and that enables him to hit some good shots. Oh, at least the first. Problems. Yeah, Brokey Scout's working too. Shots needs to find Kirby here. He's got the kit. Hiding in plain sight. Apex oh. is going to solve some problems only temporarily. Nico's Deagle does the rest. And FaZe Clan and the Desert Eagle win. They even recover an AK-47. That ain't too shabby. Yeah, it's a big round to be picking on up, all things oh, considered. Oh, God. Yeah, Vitality with a little bit of a flub right there, and Kirby finding even more So let's impact. recap that, because it was all, you know, it was hard to follow with the perspective. So this is Nico. Three body shots. Kirby did find another in the end, and then just a quick reaction. So Kirby gets the credit. I do think his, uh, the fact that Molly was extinguished by the smoke yeah. enabled him to find any sort of success, never mind win a round. So the smallest margin is determining the results and outcomes, as always. Well, converting this one here is even better for FaZe Clan. They're able to get themselves up to 10 rounds, but it will be a force buy. Just not a lot of utility to work with from Vitalian. Look at this, Nico. Hello? He's going to get shot in the bottom. What's Hello? He, what's the oh, Brokey's fire? covering him with the org. Yeah, but Brokey can't back away. As soon as he does, Nico's vulnerable. Gets two. Oh. This is costly. And this is scary. Oh, oh. Mizuta. He's got an AK now. Yeah, He's got this, three kills. This is legit. AK. And he's away Come with on, the bomb Masuta. in middle. Oh, I don't think he's ever had a 1v5. Come on, mate. Magic. Let's a 1v5, see what we bro, from his suitor. That's a story I'm willing to tell. Semi-final. Yeah. Gateway to grand final. Oh. Masuta, the young gun. He just caught Nico with his pants down. You don't get that often. Half health. Oh, that's smoke. He should disrespect that. He well. has. Look at this. Oh. He's going to get the bomb down for free. Where do you go? What's, he has a smoke as well. What's the after plan dream here? I think if he smokes towards... Okay, so he's going to play around the smoke. He doesn't know how close they are, so this is not too bad. He can find a kill, oh. but rain punishes. We were getting hyped, Masuta. You gave it a crack. You he did a lot it. of damage. You planted the bomb. You gave your team another avenue going forward. So all in all, you can be happy with that one. I reckon they're going to at least show us those three kills again. Well, Alex, it, it comes down to the bot that we have. The bot doesn't always capture all of them. His name's um, Rush. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uno. Yep. It's a game. Oh, this is actually filth, isn't it? Yeah, this third one. Look at that. Oh. Weirdly, it was Cold Zera, not Nico. Excuse me. Yeah. Was, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't love to die like that. 
Certainly not. But okay, that's uh, Masuda dropped the AK for Zaiwu. Yeah, and they'll actually just go for the economical. This is reminding me of Navi. <laughs> is that a good or a bad? Uh, that's a Navi thing. If it works, <laughs> if it works, Lauren, it's fantastic. I you can't, see. You can't use words like good and bad because. It just depends on ha what happens. It's okay. like a sometimes kind of thing. It's yeah. like, you know... Yeah, the Russian rifle buy, the, yeah. the old classic. You know how we say, like, you you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, which, right. which when you actually think about that saying, you'll probably get up on the same side of the bed every day. No, I choose. You really? Yeah, it depends on which... No, actually... Yeah. Uh, I think there's By a the way, the nice coffee machine's here today. Well, the, the coffee man. Stand yeah, he's outside. I, I literally just made a bad coffee, and then someone's was like, oh, by the way, the nice guy's out. I'm like, great. Nice guy? Yeah, he makes a nice latte. Or a late, if you're weird. No one. No one. Surely. It's been, I'm sure it's happened. It probably has. Nico, careful now. There is only one threat, and I, of course, four. I ruined his bodyguards. Four of them, and there we go. AK number two is found and maybe retrieved. That's Zywu's responsibility. He's trying to throw his AK down. Oh, and or not. Our team player. Get it yourself. What did I'm off. Because he's got other things to deal with. Like I mean, sure, but you could have at least. They don't expect it. Oh, I thought he had it. He might go through this. And he has, but he's dead. So, yeah, Alex was right. Help your team out, you know. Give him the AK. Damn selfish players. It's like playing with Chad. I'm sorry. I was splashing for you guys last night. Yeah, you were. I actually, ha I had a lot up. of fun. You really we, enjoyed it. Like, we are undefeated so far in our well, matchmaking adventures. How many days because is you, that now? Because you guys like dug me out about my attitude. Like, I my attitude's fine compared yeah. to Henry's. My That's attitude true. is That's bloody true. golden. I, I really made a mistake when I when I put you both in the same camp because obviously Henry still has a lot of bad habits that you obviously had ironed out. <laughs> Oh, nice try. I think I only sighed like once at Rush <laughs> yesterday, and that was about it. The rest of the time, it was all good. Yeah, and it's only when he suggests a run boost. That's the one you got to watch out for. But it's not about us. Our run. counter strike, not as interesting as theirs. Mm. As oh, okay. We... <laughs> I know you were getting worried, Lauren. I, I was, was like, too. wait, is he. Cause I just see him staring at like a weird spot that's not a smoke, it's not a pre -fight. I'm like, oh no. It's all good, though, because oh. Saihu just found Nico. Yeah. Looks like they were setting up for a B execute with the smokes that they had available in this round right here, Vitality. And, and now they've had to retool. So sending Apex out towards middle to get territory. He only has a smoke that's been dipped on off towards window now, so obscuring the vision. And Shox is going to lead the way with some flashes onto the B side of things. So Kyoba, you're about to be tested. How much more can you do? I like the, uh, the flash in his hand already. I'm just concerned that he's let one go through. He's communicated that. And now he needs a double. It's only the one. Body shots. Taking down Zaiwu, though, it's quite the scalp. It is a 4v3 to overcome. Brokey with a molly for the close player. That's actually going to work out nicely to draw attention, but I'm already seeing CT's retreat. Looks like they'll cut their losses and accept their fate here. He fires off his deagle shots, hoping to entice a hunt. But this one will just peter out. So we can just have a moment's silence. Everyone can go grab a snack, grab a drink, or tell your parents you love them, whatever you want to do. If we were rock climbing... And it was Assembly treacherous, now. right? And it was treacherous. And we right. were all tied together. Or maybe we were climbing Mount Everest together and it was treacherous. And we yeah. were all tied we're together. On a, we're on expedition. And we slipped and we fell and I was at the bottom and you guys had to cut me off to survive. You should do it. Yeah, of course. Oh, no, that's the wrong answer. Oh. But I, the fact that I've given you permission, you're like, no, Chad, no, we'll do it. But, but well, I mean, obviously, I, I would, I'd like to Two actively... I'd like to actively... But try and save me first. Uh, try and save you first. Yeah. But if the only outcome was we all rope. die or yeah. kill Chad, yeah, kill I would me. kill you yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just want to make that clear. Yeah, I'm glad Don't we worry. had that. It's, it's have a that good, chat with Rush rather than us. It's a good conversation to have. Um, Rush? Yo, what up? If we, as a, <laughs> as a unit... Never mind, we're not, we ain't got time for that. Shock has an org. Thank you. I just thought I'd point that out to you. Oh, I, just I, saw, like I just saw Valda tweet out that the uh, org is sleeper OP or wow. low-key OP. Yeah, you, yeah, I think on the CT side for holding angles against AKs, it's fantastic. You saw how much I was using it. Yeah, you keep, you've been badgering on about it. Seems the players are picking it up as well. kirby has been one of the few. Brawlin at times as well for Fnatic we've seen today. And if there's one man I can tell you now with conviction that will not be picking up the org on his CT sides is Nico. The perfect embodiment of this Counter-Strike purist. Anything with a scope doesn't belong in his game. Get that smack out of here. 
Oh, Cold's actually just in front of this. So this might be problematic as up and over Apex Ooh. will not see Cold Zero. Oh, this is an interesting turn of events. Mm. Smoke fading, Cold will see Apex. Did he? Oh, uh, he didn't. Uh, uh, oh my God, the weird misinformation. Yeah, but look how tucked in Apex is. Can we just have a quick free cam? Look how tucked in his model is. He could not be any more, le any less visible. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ob's team. Does he have to make sound? What's Kyobi going to do here? Jesus. He's going to wiggle. Hello? Bottom, bottom, bottom. Spotted, spanked. Kirby double on the B take as well. Eesh, needs a spray and he gets it, can't transfer. Kirby should have this one dead to rights. He's already got the triple. May as well give him the quad a fake flash for comedy effect. And we delay the inevitable. There it is, 12 nice quad for kill for Kirby. 20 kills for Kirby as well. He's had a lot of impact. Remember that clutch within the early stages of the first half? And he's being the B anchor. Yeah. Like, just to reiterate, we, we, we there are some maps which made us uncomfortable. Kirby trying to develop into an anchor player. In his opening interview upon joining FaZe Clan, he vocalized the fact that he has not explored that part of the game, seeing it as an opportunity. Admittedly, a learning opportunity in a professional environment often seems like a bit of an oxymoron, but you can see what it's doing. Looking great. Bang. Nice. A wiggle. I love it. Some people really, really don't understand it and it is impossible to explain other than it's how it's always been some people try and draw comparisons there is no one that aims quite like Kirby and uh, I imagine that for him it is just become muscle memory at this point can't tame the uh, the muscle memory when it's basically the main part of his job yeah having to retrain your <laughs> aim uh... <laughs> yeah imagine that <laughs> one that's no easy task uh... Was NTT a 1.6 player as well? He's played lots of I games. I know he played COD 4. I know he was yep. North American. I think he was 1.6. definitely 1. done CS, yeah. He, he, he was the only other player I've seen who actually has that weird shaky aim. But I'll tell you why he has that. Because he plays on nine cents. Like, he is... he is It's, it's absurd. Uh, <laughs> NTT, the highest sense gamer I've ever seen successfully <laughs> ply his trade. I bet if you go on, like, pro settings or something, you'll find the number. But it is nuts. Um, so that's why his aim's shaky. I think he's mm -hmm. a bit more of a gamer in the sensitivity department. Bit more on trend on the curve. NTT an outlier. I just remember his high sense AK 74U rushing me on crossfire and pissing me off. Smokes, stairs, jungle, respectively. Rain responds with a smoke of his own. Thought about it. Nico both doubling down. We saw how this worked for Vitality. Let's see if Misuta can sell a fake. He goes through the flames. It will be a B hit. Kirby's not interested and neither is FaZe. Dropping his own smoke. I like this. Two are already on time, and oh, the spray. Tags up one, can't control it. Zywu with the Tech Nine. If he finds cold. Oh, if, cold. If he finds cold. Now oh. he's found RPK. You can't plan now. Zywu with the Mac 10, though, to clutch. Unfortunately, it's all on to the AWP, and Brokey, who has had a quiet game, finds a crucial frag. 13 for FaZe Clan on Mirage, their map pick. Where do we go next, Chad? Uh, coming up next will be Inferno, the pick of Vitality, Ooh. and then Dust2 as the third. So we get quite the brawly map pool. And actually, if you look at FaZe's results on the map of Inferno, sure, it doesn't look fantastic. Only a 33% win ratio on that. But it was a win over MIBR back in ESL1 Cologne. It was a 16-12 loss to Mouse and a 16-11 loss to Fnatic. So realistically, not the worst results in the world to be going up into map number two. And just building on this brokey point while we have these pistols out again here, and the man on your screen he will miss a shot. But if he is not playing fantastic and the team is still winning, that is actually a better sign than him needing to play well and the team to win. Because yeah. that's what we saw in their two previous victories to get them to this point was Brokey and Nico playing fantastic. In their loss, Brokey was pretty average. And now, well, in a game that they're winning 13 to nine, he isn't playing great and the team is getting across the line. Now, converting this one, very important. Looks like they will do so. We're starting up with a two-man advantage in this one. More nades towards middle, more damage done to Vitality. And this realistically, unless uh, something goes wrong, the power goes out in five different locations, I would say FaZe win this and put 14 on the board. Only two away with a decent bank. Uh... So, woo. He was on top of Ticket, so Rain literally just got launched off the map. Mm. Of me, some clean good. headies. <laughs> good stuff from Nico. Dealing them out. 14 to the FaZe boys. 
They get to start on the CT side of Inferno as well. Uh, and Vitality, they're not really showing a lot on their T side right here. So this could bode very well for FaZe. Um, would, I would not expect them to make it to the final, let's be honest. I just saw a lethal uh, koi fish silhouette in the uh, weapon purchases department. A lethal koi fish silhouette. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it looks quite fishy. Yeah, that is pretty fishy. Oh, Shox no. has pulled out uh, a no. P90. But why? He had we want shocks. Arnold, we man. just see what he's up well, to. He had obviously. enough to buy an AK. Exactly. This is why I want to see if there's intention, if there's method to the madness, or... Oh, he's just doing nades, so we're going to ignore him for now. I don't know. I want to... I wanna no, see Lauren. I refuse. Fine. They're coming through underpass, and this will be the Zywoo flash for the peak. He wants to clear out towards the close bricks, as well as CT. Spots broke. He doesn't see a thing. He was doing the dance and the re-peak. He still gets the frag. Wow. Okay. Things getting awkward. Shock's going to drop the P90 before it sees a single, <laughs> single fired yeah, bullet. I think if I'm not mistaken, you need like 57 kills on it as well. So, I mean, compared that to track. probably... Oh. Uh, he's, he's, he's invested in the skins, but I feel like in comparison to every other weapon, he's probably got not on the high part of usage. It just costs a lot and has the same kill reward as a rifle. That's why you don't see so much from the P90. Ooh, Brokey almost getting a chance. Shocks. Uh, clearing this is difficult. Is he scoped? I, I mean, I'm, I'm a safe, is it safe to assume that the audio cue's been heard? Okay, gosh, that got a little scary. Shocks had time to look away before Rain processed all the information on his screen. Now is information for us to process. Apex is bringing the bomb. Rain can stop everything. But RPK wants to save him. Pulling the oh. pin and the transfers there. The Norwegian. Does it all, triple kill for the squad. 15 found and they're broken. 3.9 on the high end, 4.8, excuse me, for Shoxy. But taking oh. a look at the lay of the land, two I rounds love posted. It. I love a good rain game. It feels like I haven't got to see this in so long. Just that little oof. A little oof. A little oof. That's Lauren Pansy Scott. For more high hitting analysis, head over to her Twitter at Pansy, which is a band word in Twitch, by the way. Yeah. I saw that comment. I was like, wow, you've got the coolest nickname on Twitch because people can't say your name. They can. It's can just they? certain channels can exclude it. Oh, okay. Oh, different smokes out for this AX cute. It's deeper onto the stairwell, obscuring vision, meaning they can't stand on the stairs to peer on through. Flashes over, last ditch attempt, Vitality oh. start off with two massive frags and phase. Do you want to go for this or do you just want to save? Oh. Okay, another one through the smoke. Well, I mean, there are some rounds you just have to say happened, you know? Yeah. There's no <laughs> real analysis required from a player or a commentator perspective. And it's called Zero Heads to hunting. save. Yeah, they want everything. Yeah, that's a lot of confidence being displayed from Vitality, all things considered. If they're to give up or were to give up too many rifles here, they may have had a rough time buying into the next round. But I guess they made it work with Galil's and the AK-47s. And the bank can't really be hurt of FaZe Clan right now. It is enough to take away all the rifles and force them down to around that 6k mark. But they will be able to buy going into round number 26. So Brokey buys into the AWP, full utility. Kirby back onto the AUG. AUG. Did that really upset you that we didn't understand what you yeah. said? He, he takes our feedback to heart. And uh, just vocalize it and we'll explain and, you know, grow as a person. Secondary AWP for Cold Zero as well. So I reckon that Cold might use that over towards okay. the B apartment, which would allow Kirby to lean a little bit more over towards middle. So let's check this one out here. Slow stuff from Vitality now as Cold will be posted up with the AWP. Kirby can now play a little bit more in limbo. Spamming through the wooden boards. Well, we saw him get a deagle kill through there just the other day, so may as well try his luck. RPK, one of the players we highlighted, struggling a little bit. Only eight kills to his name. And Zywoo wants to go up against Brokey again. All right, round two. Fight. Fight. Rain, he has all these steps. What does he still have in hand? Oh, mm. Too much to play with. One flash as well, but he puts down the smoke, which makes it a little bit trickier. They have to swing wide to get him, opens up opportunities for others. Mm -hmm. Apex is the one that's been given the opportunity to lead from the front, and well, Rain doesn't go down. Gets it, you cheeky boy. No. He's still watching Palace. Yeah, he's got that locked and loaded. Phase three frags now is all that separates to make it two. Brokey confirms bombs ramp and bomb Ooh. was in the hands of Miss Suta. Now loose and he can't finish the job. Shocks with a 1v5 to save Vitality's Mirage hopes and dreams. A flash and a push. Unfortunately, three CTs are around and Spray's not there. 16, phase.